Hey guys, it's Emma here and I have another box of stories box for you. So this is the sci-fi and fantasy one. Uh, I can't wait to get into it. So let's just crack in. As I say, it's four books. I've set it up for three monthly, but you can set it up. I think it's like every month, every second month, every third or every fourth. And uh, the prices differ for the different boxes. So I will leave the link down below. But every third box you get an extra book or extra like 50% off your next box, things like that. So it's always, it's always amazing and it's really good price and it's free shipping for the UK. So first box out of my sci-fi fantasy one is Hunger Makes the Wolf by Alex Wells. That's a really cool looking cover. So it says, uh, the strange planet known as Tenegawa's World is owned by Trans Rifts Incorporated. The company with the absolute monopoly on interstellar travel. Hob landed there ten years ago, a penniless orphan left behind by a rift ship. She was taken in by Nick Rovani and quickly became a member of his mercenary biker troop, the Ghost Wolves. Ten years later, she discovers the body of Nick's brother out in the dunes. Worse, his daughter is missing, taken by shady beings called the Weathermen. But there are greater mysteries to be discovered, both about Hob and the witchy planet she calls home. Cool. So that is book one. Second book is Paris Adrift by E.J. Swift. And this is a gorgeous cover. Look at that. Shiny. It looks gorgeous. Uh, Paris was supposed to save Hallie, but Paris has other ideas. She's linked to a hole in time and chosen by fate to prevent a terrible war. Tumbling through Paris's turbulent past and future, Hallie changes the world and falls in love. But with every trip, she loses a little of herself, and every change she makes ripples through time, until the future she's trying to save suddenly looks nothing like what she hoped for. Oh, that's awesome. I love time travel books. So that's cool. Now, book three is The Heart of the Circle by Karen Landsman. Again, another cool color cover. I'm a sucker for a cool, cool cover. Uh, sorcerers live and work among us, but in a time of fear and segregation, they have become exploited and mistrusted. Life is hard enough to navigate before the son of Simeon, a new group of religious extremists, starts targeting and murdering them to spread their message. After a march for equal rights ends in one such murder, psychics divine that Reed Katz, empath, modifier and exceptional waiter will be their next target. Scared, confused and having just fallen hopelessly in love, Reed is not willing to give in to the terrorists. As the battle for survival grows ever more personal, can he protect himself and his friends as the sons of Simeon close in around them? Cool. I'm loving all these books. This is awesome. Right, the one at the bottom is some big hardcover books. Let's see what that is. Oh, upside down. <laughs> Every Sky a Grave by Jay Posey. Again, I'm loving these gorgeous covers of these books. So it says, it was the language that united them. It was the language that had lifted the human race from the dust and granted them the stars as inheritance. There was power within its words. Uh, her word is her weapon. Mankind has spread out and conquered the galaxy by mastering the fundamental language of the universe. With the right training, the right application of words, truth itself can be rearranged. Language is literally power. Peace reigns now. Order reigns. For, a planet deviates, for if a planet deviates too far from what the authorities plan, an agent is sent out to correct that, to quietly and with great skill end that world. One such agent is Elith, a true believer. But on a clandestine mission to stop an uprising before it can truly begin, Elith becomes, comes to realise she hasn't been told the whole truth herself. There's so much she doesn't know. How can there be people whose truth is different to that of the authorities? Ailey's faith in the powers that be is shaken just when she needs it most. While on her mission, a dark and unknown presence makes itself known at the edges of the galaxy and it cannot be controlled for nobody knows its name. Awesome. I am so excited to get into all these books. That should be everything in the box. Yep, just packing stuff left. And as always, there's all the info about all the books that are pulped every year and what it means to, to save them. And I just think this is a great box. One, it's a great price. Um, and two, as I say, you're saving these four books that you wouldn't have known, you wouldn't have heard about otherwise. Like I've not heard of any of the books I've got in these boxes, I don't think, just because they don't have the same money as like say a Stephen King or um, 
I don't know, Laurel Clay Hamilton or someone, they don't have that publicity money, so you just never hear about them. And I have really loved a lot of the books in these boxes. Not everyone, because I'm never going to love every single book, but a lot of them have been amazing. So yeah, that is it for this one, guys. That was my sci-fi and fantasy box from A Box of Stories. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you read any of these or heard of any of these? And if you have read them, what did you think of them? But uh, as I say, leave comments below, share with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and I will catch you next time, guys. Bye!